Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am doing more planning and more organizing because I have been a mess lately. I cannot get myself together. So if you need a little inspiration in that arena, then keep on watching. And of course, I'm starting off with setting the mood and this is a candle from Target from the Magnolia brand and it smells so good, you guys. On this day, I was planning with my daughter. She's got a ton of things planned for Halloween and she was just getting her checklist together and that was a lot of fun, not planning all by myself. So it must be 2020. I know I'm not alone here, but planning has been a bit difficult for me. Not just planning, but sticking to it has been really hard um i can't stick to my routines i have i set them and then i don't follow through i have all these things that i need to do for work and i end up falling behind so i really wanted to set a plan in motion that had me sticking to my goals so what i decided to do was to go back to my bullet journal if you guys know at the beginning of the year i started out the my whole entire planning with this bullet journal right here and somewhere of course along the way of 2020 I didn't feel like planning anymore and I thought well maybe it has something to do with my bullet journaling and I wanted to just shake things up so I got a different day planner to start working on. However that turned out to be even worse which is what you're seeing right there. I was not scheduling things in every time I thought about doing anything in there I was just not motivated to do anything however now I found a better system so what I'm doing is I'm taking my bullet journal and just doing the main things that I want to focus on throughout the month so of course I did a November page I did what to expect this month and I did a page for my horoscope I did a November bucket list. I wrote my recipes that I want to try, that I've been loving, that I want to continue using in November. I also did a workout page. I did a wellness page. And I did a publishing plan page and a YouTube schedule page. But I'm not going to be using my bullet journal for my daily tasks. I am going to be using that day planner for my daily tasks. So, so the bullet journal is my monthly overlook like my monthly goals at a glance for each area of my life and then I'm going to use the day planner to schedule things in accordingly. Something I've really been struggling with is scheduling my YouTube content, when to record it, when to edit, and just really, really trying to get ahead of the game. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm not only thinking of possible topics for November, but I'm also planning something really exciting for December and you guys I think are going to enjoy it so much. So I want to give you guys just one tip and it's exactly what I'm doing here. Think about what you want to do and plan ahead. The more ahead you are, the better it is. After I finish doing this, I feel so much better knowing exactly what I need to do, when I'm going to do it and how I'm going to get it done that I'm just, I feel so much better you guys. And here. I am planning something for December. I am planning a huge, huge giveaway aside from the other thing that I said I was planning for December. So I don't want you guys to miss out on this giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed and that you do have the notification bells turned on so that you don't miss out on this giveaway. December is going to be an exciting month and I cannot wait for you guys to just come along with me on this ride. I have been wanting to do what I'm going to do ever since I started YouTube and I just haven't had the time or just the, um, I don't know, motivation to do it, but I'm definitely motivated this year. So make sure you stick around. And now it's lunchtime and I thought I would take you guys along with me. I am making a quesadilla in my panini maker and I love this panini maker. It was the best purchase we have made in our entire life. All I'm doing is using a flour tortilla and just adding a little of Mexican cheese, putting a little butter on top, putting it inside the panini maker, closing it up and moving on to the next area of lunch making, which is making some guac. But first, let's say hi to the babies. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Yeah, even though it is October, I guess he was feeling the Christmas vibes too and he wanted to watch The Grinch. He said it was kind of like Halloween. 
And now we're moving on to making my guac for my quesadilla. And what I'm doing here is I'm just slicing up my avocado and I will be putting some red onions. Sometimes I put tomatoes in it, but this time I decided not to. This avocado was perfect, you guys. I just got this container at Ross and I'm in love with it, but for the life of me, I cannot remember what it's called. Please let me know in the comments below what this thing is called because I cannot remember. So now I'm just going to be chopping these onions a little more, making them really small. I don't like them real big, putting it all together. Then I'm going to smash, smash, smash until I get the consistency that I am happy with. And then I am going to cut a lime in half and just add a little bit. Then we add the onions that I chopped and let's see smash it again add more onions and then add some garlic salt for taste and that's it By this time the quesadilla was done and I just scooped a little bit of the wok on my plate and a little bit of sour cream and called it a day. It was amazing. After lunch I was going to go back to working but then I realized I was pretty much done with November, had some idea of December so I went ahead and just called it a day and then I started editing this video. Okay, you guys, I hope I inspired you in some way to go ahead and plan your next few months. We are almost done with 2020. I know we can do this and end it on a high note. We have all been through a lot this year and it is time to just be happy and enjoy the holidays. I would just like to remind you guys to give the video a thumbs up if it did inspire you in any way. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so on your way out. I'll see you guys in a brand new video in a few days.